Greetings, everyone. Glad to have you here with us on this Wednesday night edition of the NBA on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Grant Williams is out there with Jones, and it's Lively in at the five spot. And for Phoenix, the big three for the Suns all on the floor. Booker and Beal as the guards, and KD at the four. Gordon is out there with Nurkic, and still so much, Greg, to learn about these teams. When do we get a sense of a team's true identity? Well, not this early in the season. I'd say at least a quarter of the way through it. That's when you kind of get a sense of a squad's chemistry. And it's the Mavericks to start out. Irving against Beal. Pass to Lively. The three for Doncic. Good on the triple. Doncic has got the first three points tonight for Dallas. Watch out now when Doncic is dialed in from deep because he's unguardable. The pass to Beal. To the middle. Here's Booker. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. So, Greg, when you think about the Phoenix Suns, what do you think fuels them the most? Kevin, I mean, the fact that they had a 2-0 lead in the 21 NBA Finals and lost. This team is really battling to get back to that stage. And if they do, they want to take care of business this time. First free throw is good. Anytime Devin Booker is sent to the line, it, it's a win for his offense. He's pretty much automatic, and it's been that way since he entered the league. Both free throws good from Booker. And after making the playoffs a few years in a row, the Dallas Mavericks, Clark, missed the cut in 2023 yeah disappointing end to their season on multiple levels and given the history of the Mavs I would expect them to bounce back and get headed in the right direction soon Luke a combination of finesse and bully ball in there that time and here are the Suns now it's a three-point game outside Beal We play just over a minute here in the first. Pass to Nurkic. Deflects the pass. In the corner, Irving with it. Let's it go with a three. Another three for Dallas. That's the decisiveness we talk about with Irving. He's quick and right at it. And Booker kicks to Durant. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. And guys, point of emphasis for the league is to really crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. Up top, Durant. He's guarded by Williams. Pass to Beal. And he gets the whistle three. for the three-second call. The Mavericks have gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Beal against Irving. Anjic passes to Irving. Jones sets the pick for Irving. Throws it up high. And Jones slams it home. Hey, there's no denying it. Kyrie is a score-first guard, but he's a better passer than he gets credit for. Now here's Booker. Outside, Beal. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. That one's off, still out of sync. For the Phoenix Suns, they're coming off a good outing against the Pistons in Detroit. Outside, Irving. Pass to Lively. 
a chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Durant just inside the line. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. When it comes to catch and shoot situations, Durant as reliable as it gets. And here in the first, uh, about three minutes in. Doncic against Booker. Irving dishes to Doncic. Back to Irving. And blocked. That one goes careening off the glass. Booker inside. Guarded by Doncic. And the dunk by Booker. And getting physical with his play. Booker just attacking the hoop. Mavericks leading by four. On the wing, Doncic. Puts up a deep three. It's hauled in by the Suns. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Durant, the pass to Nurkic. Off target from outside. And it's Irving with the ball for the Mavericks. They come into this one having outplayed the Magic last game. And really showed their depth when they needed it most. On the road, having to manufacture points. And, you know, the guys on the bench have great confidence in themselves. And when their name was called, they were ready to compete and contribute. Here's Booker after the Mavericks pick up three. And the shot goes down. Booker's got six points. Well, we know Eric Gordon is a great shooter now, but he is also willing to make the extra pass. Irving for three. Another three for Dallas. And the D has gotten a little bit laxed here, defending the triple. Doncic against Booker. Down low. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Great timing by Booker, setting up his teammate for success. Dallas leading by six. Now, Doncic, a 29-point game for him in the win against the Magic in Orlando. Boy, he was piling up those assists in that one. I mean, every pass seemed to be on time and on target. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Shooting one. Doncic, no good on the free throw. In terms of finishing ability, it's hard to think of someone who tops Kyrie Irving. Greg, the list is short, particularly when you talk about guys of his size, okay? His bag of tricks is limitless when you talk about finishing in close quarters against bigger guys. There are a few that are in his class in that regard. The Mavericks leading. Here's Lively. He had 10 points in the win against the Magic in Orlando. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Nurkic. Let's take a look now at some numbers for Beal. He's coming off an excellent season. Put up about 23 points per. Five assists and four rebounds. And always nice to have a guy like him who can really defend at a high level coming off the bench. You know, when you can sub in a lockdown defender, hey now, hey now, yeah. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And, you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard, and they are landing some haymakers now. Outside Durant. Here's a Kobe, defended by Jones. Outside Durant. Five on the clock. There's the three. Drills the three-pointer. Durant's got seven points in the game. Great touch from KD. Great range, too. Irving against Booker. Wing shot on the way. They get it back. There it is, guys. One of those effort plays that makes a big difference in the game. And GA, it is definitely making a difference so far today. Well, you know, if you're not going to take care of the defensive glass, 
going to be hard to come away with the win. Here's the pass to Nurkic. He kicks it to Beal. Let's the free fly. Here's Booker. Tries again, and it's good on the way up. Booker's got his third basket of the night right there. Skillful make inside by Booker. Able to find his spot for the finish. On the wing, Doncic. He's got nine. Irving surveying the floor. Another three for Dallas. Irving. And off to an incredible start here early from long range. Lighting it up from outside. Hard to keep up with this. Now, here's Nurkic. Defense right on him. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And with his skill, Nurkic can score from anywhere on the court. But when you're 280, his skills probably better utilized inside. Doncic outside. And it's off from three-point range. Suns trail by eight. Booker outside. Into the lane, over Irving, again Phoenix. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. Irving against Booker. No good from Irving. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Suns. And this matchup with the Mavericks is the first meeting of the season. And two teams at vastly different ends of the standings last year. But they played each other to a draw. So it's the Mavericks now. They lead by four. Outside Irving. Doncic outside. Puts up a deep three. That missed basket now makes him four of eight from the field. Executing to perfection right now offensively. I mean, in total sake, good luck trying to stop him now. Knocks it loose. Doncic with the steal. Irving passes to Williams, and it's Durant with the rebound. Phoenix is gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Booker outside. And the call will be against Yusuf Nurkic. That's his first foul. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Last season, GA, the Suns trading tons of picks, plus good young players, all for Kevin Durant. And then this summer, trading for Bradley Beal, it's clear. They're going all in, constructing a super team to try and bring Phoenix its first NBA title. Some changes for Phoenix. Eubanks, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. And Keita Bates-Diops subbed in for Kevin Durant. Dallas leading by four. Curry with it. Pass to Powell. Now here's Doncic. Defended by Booker. They need this one. Uses the glass that time and it's good. Doncic has got 11. Boy has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Walker finds Beal, shoots over Curry, and there's Bradley Beal on the assist from Booker. And the whole floor is open for Beal. He has the mechanics to make a shot from just about anywhere. Booker against Dungeon. Here's Powell. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Beal dishes to Booker. Here's Eubank. And he jams it with authority. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Maverick shooting it from their comfort zone so far. In this 57% from the field. Curry kicks to Doncic. 
Passes it to Kleba. Dallas moving the ball around. Curry passes to Powell. And the dunk by Powell. And I think Powell is terrific in the pick and roll. Knows how to dive after he sets the screen. Suns trail by six. And here's Booker. He's got 12. Pass to Eubanks. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. 58 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Doncic against Booker. Powell with a screen on Booker. Doncic against Booker. Five to shoot. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Booker and the Suns tack on two more. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Doncic way outside. Rebound by the Suns. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Outside, Beal. Shoots over Doncic. The baseline, Jay, off the mark. It's been all about Luka Doncic for Dallas. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. Right back after this break. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Dallas. Absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. Cultivating a lot of assists right now, which is beautiful to see. Love the way they're working that ball around. So at Durant sitting on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. Out on the wings, it's Booker and Akogi. Then there's Drew Eubanks. Then there's Bradley Beal. And it's Bates Diop in a power four. Irving for three. And a clear foul there as he shot the triple. He'll go to the line for three free throws. Well, Irving takes advantage of any mistakes defenders make. So you've got to recognize how crafty he is. And Clark, here we are watching Kyrie Irving when he's on. It is amazing to watch. Remarkably smooth as an athlete, Kevin, and otherworldly when you look at his skills as a basketball player, particularly ball handling and shot making. Talking pure basketball, he's one of the most entertaining players of the last 30 years for sure. Greg, you've heard people say it's a make or miss league. Does that hold true? It seems so, right? Shooting percentages correlate more with winning than possession stats like turnovers or offensive rebounds. It's clear shot making has never been more valuable, but the ability to disrupt rhythm still plays a big role. I tell you, it's so amazing to see how much raw talent Kyrie Irving has. Just seems like that ball is part of it. And he makes all three. Greg, what a remarkable run from the Dallas Mavericks in that 2010-11 NBA season. And some say it's the toughest title any team has ever won. When you consider the juggernauts they took out, including the big three of the Miami Heat in the NBA Finals. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. 
Thank you, Kevin. We all know Luka Doncic is a master of one-on-one -on -one isolation scoring. Coach Jason Kidd said he knows how to use his body and his, sometimes as a coach you want to run all these plays, but at the end of the day, it's about getting him the ball with enough time to be creative. Kevin? That's right, David. Letting him cook. Thanks for the report. And that's a block right there. He swats that ball away with some energy. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. Beal, the pass to Eubanks. Kicks it to Allen. Suns moving the ball around. Beal, that's for two. And they're unable to get the tying basket there. Look at the last game for the Suns. It was a win against the Pistons. Outside Hardaway. Irving passes the pop. Hardaway for three. The shot goes in. First shot, first basket. Boy, you cannot let Hardaway Jr. get going like this, guys. I mean, once he's in that rhythm and flow, it's bad news for the defense. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. A Kogi inside the three-point line. Plenty of room to knock down the shot. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the Dallas Mavericks. They've led by as much as 10. Curry setting the pick for Irving from past the arc. Eubanks grabs the miss. Suns trail by three. Allen passes to Bates Diop, and he makes that one. Bates Diop's got his first points of the game. That's simply an outstanding play, working the size mismatch right at the rim. Here's Curry. He has yet to score. Right side Hardaway. Outside Irving. Let's it go from 11, and it's Phoenix with the rebound. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. That mental toughness on the road. The arena was rocking, but they just got down to business and never let up. Well, you know, it takes character, poise, toughness to win on the road, and that's exactly what they showed last game. Dallas has gone 6 of 14 with the three ball tonight, just a little over 40%. Curry finds Kleba. Hardaway sets a screen for Kleba. Now Irving. And the pass to Hardaway. with the screen. Six on the shot clock. And Hardaway gets it to go. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. you got to be tougher defensively. Allen passes to Bates Dion. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. But Greg, the Suns going all in with the new big three. Beal, Booker, and Durant. <laughs> that's a lot of firepower. And they didn't hesitate to bring Beal into the mix. The shooting that they all provide Shoot is two. second to none. On paper, they are as talented as anyone. First one falls for Kyrie was the big signing for the Mavs this summer. And, Greg, they altered their roster quite a bit. Yeah, they needed to mix up their approach, right? They, they liked the Luka and Kyrie pairing. Now they're all in with this core for the next few years. Gordon's checked in for the Suns. Booker comes in for Allen. The Mavericks also with a sub. Holmes checked in, and good on the second, so it makes them both. What a special opportunity Dallas has with a generational talent, Clark, like Doncic. Yeah, I agree with you there. I mean, he's special. And I think the Mavs need to do something with his presence in terms of building a competitive team around him because Doncic expects to be in the playoffs every season. And, and let's see, guys, if that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. Here's Bates Diop. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Holmes passes to Irving. Good for another field goal. Number five on the night. Five for ten timeout, shooting. Timeout. You know, this is simply what Kyrie Irving does. Get buckets against defenders. He's a bucket maker. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix.
for Kata Bates-Diop. And Dallas also making a switch. Grant Williams is checked in for Rashawn Holmes. And Phoenix has possession, trailing by four. When this game is done, they'll be off to Chicago as they take on the Bulls. That'll be just one game played away from home for them. Two points, that one goes. And we see this so often from Booker because he has the green light to take any shot he wants. To the inside. And Irving gets it to go on the assist by Williams. Irving's got 19 points. Tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys, and the best game plan right now. It's elementary. Just keep feeding. Let him eat. Bowl is screen on Williams. A Kogi for three. Hands it from downtown. A Kogi's got eight here in the quarter. Yep, you know, after a score in this first period, he's really turned it up a notch, building some momentum. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. The White Powell's combination of athleticism and focus allow him to score despite getting bumped around. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. That's who's checked in for Bull. And the free throw, no good. And they're really getting more points at the free throw line here in the second quarter. Definitely, that's one of the reasons they're in front right now. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. Dallas has gone 7 of 15 from three point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. Irving attacking. Yep, it counts. 21 points in the game. Well, I love what he's done in this first half. At least so far, increasing confidence every time down the floor. You can see it. Beal, the pass to book. Good, it's Beal picking up the assist. 20 points for Devin Booker. And it's Irving with the ball for the Dallas Mavericks. They've led by as much as 10. Powell with the screen. Irving kicks to Powell. And the dunk by Powell. And, you know, this is what Powell does best. Establishes himself deep inside and jams it home. Suns trail by three. Pass to Medu. Here's Beal. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Another foul give him three before the half. Something to keep an eye on, guys. And Phoenix making a change here. Durant's checked in. Mavericks leading by three. Outside Curry. Irving with a clean look from outside off the mark. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backfield. It's clearly been their edge in a close game like this. You look for every edge you can find. And it doesn't even have to be an accurate pass. With Durant's length, you can just throw it up, and you know this guy will get it. Outside Irving. Jones with the screen on Booker. The tray. And Kyrie Irving, good for three. Irving's got 24 points. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. All right, a chance to look at the numbers for Kyrie Irving. Last season, he played outstanding. Averaged about 27 points a game last season. Five assists and five rebounds. And every team in the league needs shooting. That's what he brings coming off the pine. Yeah, there's always a demand for shooters, man. Have jumper, will travel. I'm telling you, most championship teams, they have a bunch of those guys who can put it in the basket. The first one falls. Nasir Little, he's checked in for the Suns. Allen comes in for Bradley Beal. Then for the Mavericks, Hardaway comes in for Kyrie Irving. And Luka Doncic subbed in for Seth Curry. So he gets them both. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the stripe. He's going to cash in more than not. Here's Doncic. And Luka wanting it more. 
doing. This is why me and so many others are high on Doncic. I mean, he's got the ability to fight through challenges that defenses present. And when it comes to Luka Doncic, he's simply, Greg, one of the best players in the entire game. No question about it. He's a threat to record a triple-double every time he takes the floor. As versatile and dangerous a player as there is in our league. consult Luca before any major move now. Rare for a player so young to have that much say. Yeah, you know, I don't know how much I agree with that, but given Luca's stardom and in the day and age we're in, he is Dallas going forward. And to some degree, I think perhaps he has earned the right to have a say in who he's going to team up with. And showing off a little with the handles there. Man, is Booker fun to watch. Donchich outside. Fires from deep. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Doncic has got six here in this quarter. And they're right around 50% for the game on their threes, and they've only gotten better as the game's gone on. Suns trail by six. Booker looking around. Unloads from nine. Good D by Hardaway. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. Back to Doncic. Out of bounds, Phoenix will take possession. A moment here to check out Kevin Durant. Great showing for him last season. And a great touch around the rim. Top 15 in field goal percent. And back to his free throw shooting percentage, second in the league. I never saw lapses in his concentration at all. Always completely focused. Completely automatic. Booker with it. Williams picks him up. Doncic against Booker. From downtown, another three for Phoenix. And he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. Now here is Hardaway. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Orlando. And he also dominated the glass out there. He hit the boards hard and off. And it's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for the Sun. It's a three-point game. Back to Little. Donchich with the steal. Puts the move on. Oh, an easy two from Donchich. Well, you look at Luka's body. He doesn't look defined, but he's much stronger than he appears, and he showed it right there. And Phoenix has possession. Gordon, the pass to KD. Tipped away. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Jones. Courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here's a peek at the league's top scores from a season ago. Second, Luka Doncic. And looking back, his points per game really underscored the fact that he never took a game off. I mean, one special performance after another all season long. Booker against Doncic. Puts it up. Phoenix, no good that time either. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. He dishes it to Hardaway. He kicks to Williams. Dallas moving the ball around. Williams, a screen on Booker. Hardaway from outside, and the three ball is good. And it's an eight-point Dallas lead. You know, with good shooting form and technique and a knack for scoring, Hardaway Jr. is confident with the deep ball. Allen for three. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Nothing like answering back. One team gets three, you fire three of your own. Boom. And the Mavericks call time here. Okay. Phoenix making some changes. Yusuf Nurkic comes in for Little. And Beal subbed in for Allen. Irving's checked in for Dallas. Here 
And there's a minute 45 left to play here in the half. On the wing, Williams. Passes it to Lively. Here's Irving. Kicks it out to Jones. Inside. Second chance shot. And Irving gets it to go on the assist by Jones. And it's now 26 points for Kyrie Irving. Pass to KD. Back to Booker. 105 left in the first half. Shock up two there. That's 29 points for Devin Booker. The three for Doncic. Shot clock reset for Dallas. A nice shot by Irving. They are just killing him on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. You got to play with some physicality in the paint. The pass to Durant, a pointer, and a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. Booker's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Pass to Lively. Doncic looking it over. Passes it to Lively. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Suns trail by four. Kevin Durant, he's got 12. There's the dish to Booker. And it's Phoenix scoring again. And that's that in-between distance for some guys. Booker showing how comfortable he is from the mid-range. What a performance for Kyrie Irving. He has been the story for the Mavericks. And with his work in that quarter, he has five three-pointers in the game now. Quite a showing from long range. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much. High scoring affair, Brad. How would you assess the first half? We got to defend. We're not going to outscore this team. We got some of the best scorers in the world. We got to defend. That's the only way we're going to win. So second half, we got to be a lot better. We'll see how that turns, Brad. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. It is a wonderful night for basketball and a wonderful time to get a quick, wonderful rundown of how the wonderful West looks early on in this wonderful season. Is that too many wonderfuls? No, you're wonderful. You know, for Dallas, it's still early and we don't want to get ahead of ourselves, but right now they are easily the best team in the league. Well, we knew they'd be good, but we didn't know they'd be this good. Circling back to our game now, Kyrie Irving on fire in that first half. He didn't just show up, he came to compete at a high level. His attitude, it doesn't matter who you put on me, it's fun to play with that kind of confidence. From someone who would know. And that is a wrap. Now let's send you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third quarter. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. Man, he's been running wild on him through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. And you know what? I'll be interested to see just how much he's got left in the tank. That first half had to take a lot out of him. Getting underway in the second half, here's the five for Jason Kidd. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Derek Jones is out there with Williams, and it's Lively in at the center position. Irving dishes to Doncic, and stolen by Booker. Oh, here we go with Gordon. Nobody back. The game now all time. Yeah, from the first time I saw Gordon play, this guy has always been in attack mode, which makes it a tough cover for the defense. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Line for Phoenix. Eric 
And that one misses. Really appreciate the all-around game of Gordon. He's an underrated defender, but a dynamic scorer. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The transfer of the Phoenix Suns last season to new ownership ended a tumultuous chapter for the team and for the league. The new leadership aggressively made the trade for Kevin Durant last year and for Bradley Beal this summer. It's a great roster, and the Suns' $4 billion sales price reflects the sense that this Phoenix market is one of the sleeping giants in the NBA. Kevin? Oh, I agree. On the rise, David, thanks. Irving's shot is good. Irving. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Pass to Booker. Over Doncic. No good from Booker. The Mavericks leading. Irving drives in. And the layup falls. Irving. Irving's got four this quarter. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Just a little over 90 seconds gone in the third quarter. Outside, KD. Nurkic just screen on Williams. The baseline jam. And finished off by Nurkic. And this is where Nurkic gets a lot of his points. Staying active even after the shot goes up. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Mavericks. He'll be playing host to Toronto for the next one. That'll be the first of two straight at home. Shoots the three. Doncic knocks in the three. That would be four in a row for him now as they have come racing out of the gate to start this second half. For three, Booker gets the three-pointer to fall. Booker's got 36. The three at the other end lit a fire under Booker. He wanted to get those right back. And that one's good, Irving. Boy, that's five buckets in a row now. Watch out. Looking like a well-oiled machine coming out of the break. Well, we're into the third quarter. Just over two and a half minutes played. Outside, Beal. Booker is screen on Irving. Here's Beal. Another one falls for Phoenix. And, and great recognition there in the pick and roll. Beal usually able to make the right play. Talking about Bradley Beal, Greg, I feel like I'm he doesn't I'm get I'm enough credit for his passing game. You know, Kevin, he's Sorry. really evolved as a playmaker over the years. Sure, we, we all know how talented a scorer and shooter he is, but Bradley is now superb at facilitating. And the Mavericks call time here. Check out Luka Doncic here. Last season, he played outstanding. He averaged 32 points a game, eight assists, and eight rebounds. And he's such a big part of what they do offensively. Yeah, he's just got that nice feel, that sixth sense, knowing where to be on the floor to help his teammates generate points. Quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Irving passes to Doncic. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got four assists now tonight. And they've really steamrolled out of halftime on a major roll. Suns trail by five. The pass to Beal. To the paint, here's Durant, and then Durant with the dunk. And we continue to see Beal improve as a playmaker. Beautiful pass there. 
for Dallas. They've gone a spotless six of six from the field since taking the court here in the second half. Got that one up quick. Doncic has got nine points now in just the second half. Three-pointers are killing them at this point, and they haven't been able to respond at the other end. You know, the only way that's going to turn around defensively is by stopping the outside shot, not getting into a shootout. They're not going to out-shoot out this team. Here's Irving. Phoenix grabs the miss. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. Such an active shooter. Love how Booker gets defenders to try and be physical with him. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. Yeah, and he wasn't someone you wanted to foul if you were defending him last season. 85% is what he made from the line. Guys, I thought he got into a groove last year at the charity stripe, and I thought he maintained it deep into the season as well. And he makes the first. He's perfect from the line this time. Mavericks leading by four. Donchich outside. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his fifth assist in this one. And he has just been in a flow offensively. Terrific game. He has been the X Factor. Phoenix has gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Booker outside. Down low. Here's KD. And then Durant with the dunk. What doesn't Kevin Durant do? He's showing us everything here. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Mavericks. They've led by as much as 10. Nurkic with the block. Irving against Durant. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Just a load. I mean, at seven feet, Nurkic also moves well. And that combo gets him to the line a bunch. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Dallas. Well, I think they've been lethal from beyond the arc this game. No doubt about it. Hard to defend such spot-on shooting. And tonight we've also seen a lot of great play from them inside. They've been consistent in terms of attacking the interior of this D. The first free throw is good. You know, it took Nurkic a while to kind of establish himself as a starting center in the NBA, but it didn't take long to see it's a role he deserves. Both good from the line that time. Dallas has gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. Doncic outside. Here's Irving. The shot's good on the assist by Doncic. That's 36 points for Kyrie Irving. No fault with the defense there. Sometimes Irving is just too much and too good even from in close. Suns trail by four. Here's Booker. Second chance effort. And he banks in the lane. Booker's got 40 points. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You've got to work harder on the glass. Anjic passes to Irving. Shoots over Beal, and Dallas again with the bucket. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. And the Suns call time. With this break, let's show you the teams that led the league in assists last year. Fourth, the Suns. Just a 
gifted passing team. They play the kind of basketball that fans love to watch. Very unselfish and fluid offensively. Suns trailing. Beal, the pass to Book. Trying to find Durant. He's got it now. You know, the defense is all over Durant inside, but, you know, his length and agility and high release point allow him to still make it happen. Maverick shooting with confidence. Wow, 66% from the floor. Here's Irving. Again, the Maverick score. Well, he's filling it up right now. Getting the shots he wants and delivering in a big way. Booker dishes to Nurkic. Gordon with no one around. And a miss there on the triple. We know how good a shooter he is. It's frustrating for him when he's not able to knock down that kind of wide open look. Yep, that one goes in there. Love watching Irving do his work in there. Kyrie's so good and crafty in tight. Suns trail by six. Here's Booker. He has 40. Outside, KD. And it's Beal in the corner. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. KD's got three assists tonight. Really well done there. Just confident and composed. Never in a hurry. Dallas has gotten the three ball working for them in the second half. They've hit three out of three shots from long range. Booker against Doncic. On the wing, Irving. Shot clock at five. Shoots over Beal. And Kyrie Irving again. Irving's got 44. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. you got to be tougher defensively. KD's shot is good. Durant so good at finishing and tight. Excellent in the paint. Doncic with it. He's got 32. Outside Irving. Launches a three. And it's Doncic missing. Suns trail by three. Here's Booker. And he makes good on the way. Booker's got 11 in the second half. And love the aggressive side of Booker's game. Forcing his shot through there. And here's Irving. He's got 44. From outside the arc. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Booker's got his fourth rebound in this one. Gordon kicks to Booker. Outside Durant. Nurkic setting the pit for Durant. And that won't go. Missing the go-ahead bucket. Here's Dallas. I believe the pass to Jones. Here's Lifer. He's guarded by Nurkic. The three for Doncic. Phoenix grabs the miss. Nurkic has got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Nurkic a screen on Doncic. Pass to Nurkic for the lead. That's in coming off the assist from Katie. Durant's got four assists in the game. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic. It is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. And the Mavericks call time here. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this timeout also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated.
Yogi's check in for the Suns. A moment now to see the numbers for Norkish. A very nice season for him last year. He put up about 13 points a game last season. Nine rebounds and three assists. You can't understate his impact on the backboards. Right. I mean, that's where he's one of the best in the business. Hard to outfight him on the glass. Passes to Powell. Now, here's Doncic. Kicks it out to Jones. Good. And the assist goes to Doncic. Doncic has got his fourth assist in this one. Luka's peripheral vision off the charts. Get wide open, and he's going to find you. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Phoenix Suns. They trail by one. Nurkic the pass to Durant. And then Durant with the jam. Seven lead changes now, and we're just in the third quarter. Yeah, frustrating for a coach, but it's great to watch as a fan. Doncic against Booker. Jones with the screen on Booker. Doncic, no good. Phoenix has gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. And GA for Bradley Beal. Finally a chance to contend with these Phoenix Suns. Yeah, for so long, folks wondered how long he blank was in a losing situation in D.C. Now he has an opportunity to play into June. Doncic against Booker. Hardaway passes to Jones. Stolen by Durant. Kicks it out to Booker. Another three for Phoenix. And from the corner, Booker is not a player you can forget about. 146 left here in the third quarter. Powell sets a screen for Curry. Buries the long-range jumper. Curry's got himself on the board with three there. Well, you've got to be conscious of Curry's whereabouts in these situations now because he loves the back-at-you triple. Nurkic set the pick for Beal. Another three for Phoenix. He's come out here in the second half and done a nice job moving, getting good looks, and finding his range. Doncic against Booker. Eight and three-point shooting. And they were in the top half of field goal percentage as well. They had some good nights and a few bad ones when it came to shooting the basketball. Never quite had the consistency of the top shooting team. And Greg, what stands out to me the most is their turnover ranking. They were never careless with the ball. Never played out of control. That free throw good from Doncic. Luka Doncic is a do-it-all player. I mean, he does everything for this team, including being a walking triple-double threat on a game-by-game -game basis. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Eubanks, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Kade of H. Diop comes in for Kevin Durant. And Grayson Allen subbed in for Devin Booker. All free throws good from Doncic. There's a minute left to play in the third. Curry against Beal. Pass to Eubanks. Dishes to Allen. Outside, Beal. Over Curry. Again, Phoenix. And, and you like to see since the half now. He's finally starting to come around. Average trail by six. And there's the pass to Doncic. Rebound by a Kogi. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. That's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game. Beal, the pass to Eubanks. And a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. And selfless play by Beal. Using that pick and roll action to create for a team. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 
40 years ago. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third quarter. Both teams putting up points. Suns lead by eight. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. A chance now to hear Jason Kidd talking to his team moments ago. Come on, come on. Let's get our energy back up. Let's go. Come on. Jason Kidd wanted a little bit more effort, as you heard him say right there, asking his team to be more active. Yeah, and I think he senses just a, a little bit of complacency. Guys don't have that same level of focus, and you know that's not going to cut it with him. And this is it. Glad to have you along for this fourth and final quarter. Gordon out there with Booker. Then there's Drew Eubanks, and it's a Kogi in at the small forward position. That's who's out there for Phoenix. Booker draws the double. Gordon, the pass to Bates Diop. Sinks the triple. Bates Diop's got the lead up to 11 now for Phoenix. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. Gordon against Irving. Out to Hardaway. For three. Yes! And it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got six assists now in the game. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. It's stolen by Curry. Over Booker. Yep, it goes in, and the Suns' lead is cut down to just six points and the bucket from Curry. Seth Curry's game in the mid-range area continues to look better, taking advantage of all opportunities. Booker outside. Booker draws the double. Well, I tell you what, his vertical is awesome off the charts. A short center who still makes his presence felt. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Outside Hardaway. Kicks to Powell. Back to Hardaway. He dishes it to Curry. Powell with the screen. Shot clock at six. And the dunk by Powell. Boy, Powell showing you great aggressiveness that time. Fighting hard to come up with that offensive rebound. Suns leading by six. Pass to Bates Dion. Al Gordon covered by Irving. Gordon inside. He's against Williams. And the basket by Gordon. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. And it's Irving missing. For Phoenix, they've gotten all three of their shots to drop here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. A Kogi misses. Mavericks trail by eight. Outside Curry. Irving a screen on Booker. To the inside. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. You know, for Irvin, he's made an effort, a conscious effort to get to the line more, and for good reason. I mean, he's a really good foul shooter. All right, well, look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Suns. They've been playing some really physical offense, just attacking the paint as much as possible. And I tell you what, they have been very successful with that strategy. The shooting's been great, but also, how about the energy level? That's what's impressed me the most. They've been getting it up and down in transition, and that takes effort. Phoenix making some changes. Nasir Little, he's checked in for Eubanks. And Allen subbed in for Keita bates Diop. The Mavericks also with a sub. Maxi Kleba, he's checked in for Powell. And so Irving nails both of them. 
And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. There's Gordon with the three. The Mavericks pull it in. Now here's Curry. Left side, Irving. Back to Curry. On the wing, Hardaway. Six to shoot. Fires the three. Outside for Curry. Hardaway against Allen. Screen by Kleba. Hardaway from outside. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. The defense is far too slow to close out on those three-point attempts. And those triples, they sure do add up quickly, don't they? I mean, they've got to make some kind of adjustment here. On the wing, Booker. Booker draws the double. The wide-open shot by Little. Phoenix, no good that time either. Now the Mavericks with it. They're on a 12-4 run right now. Kleba finds Curry. Outside Irving. Shot from the top of the key. Williams. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Here's Little, and it's Little finishing it off. Oh, what an amazing finish there. Just fearless in when he attacks the rim and is as if the big fella wasn't even there. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Dallas. It's a three-point game. It's Hardaway with the drive. Curry passes to Hardaway. Back to Curry to tie it up. Another three for Dallas. You know, the staple of Seth Curry's game is shooting the ball off the catch. Irving against Allen. Booker with no one around. Gets a very good look and converts. Booker's got 47 points. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Curry dishes to Hardaway. Unloads from 13. Here's Irving. Curry with a wide open look. They grab their own miss. And that one's good, Irving. Irving's got the game tied up here for the man. Staying aggressive, that helps Kyrie in every aspect of his offensive game. For Phoenix, they've gone five of eight shooting as we've come down the home stretch in this final quarter. Allen passes to a Kogi. No good from outside. The Mavericks have gone seven of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Kleba kicks to Curry. Irving sets a screen for Curry. Kleba sets the screen for Curry. Over Little. Again, Curry missing. And got to like what they've been doing down low in the post. I certainly do. You know I like to see guys do their work inside. Their rebounding has been excellent, and that's always important in a close game. At the line for your sons, Nasir Little. Two shots. The free throw drops for Little. Phoenix making some changes. Norkic checked in for Okogi. Kevin Durant comes in for Eric Gordon. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Grayson Allen. And so Little nails both of them. Dallas has gone three and five from beyond the arc since the final quarter's gotten underway. Doncic outside. Irving from long range. Rebound by Norkic. Norkic has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So happy. He's really slowed down a bit here in the second half. He hasn't converted a three yet after the tremendous first half he had. 
Doncic against Beal. Doncic passes to Irving. Doncic on the drive inside. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. And that's 36 points for Luka Doncic. And it's the Suns with the ball. They've led by as many as 11 points. Phoenix calls timeout. Started. Kleba, he's checked in for Dallas. Tim Hardaway Jr. comes in for Jones. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. During that break, Frank Vogel had some real words for his team. Now, with this game up for grabs, Coach told his guys to think positive. He said, we know this game is ours, fellas. We've earned it. I need you to show me right now that you want this. Can they get it done? We'll see, guys. Thank you, David. Gordon with a screen on Dungeon. And the Suns miss again. For Dallas, they've gone 8 of 16 from the field in the fourth, exactly 50%. Outside Irving. Doncic against Booker. Lock at six. To take the lead. And that's good. Luka Doncic for three. Doncic has got 39. You know, he knocked down a couple from range in the first half, but now his confidence through the roof. On the wing, Booker. And Durant gets double team. Hits it again. Wow. That gives him 51. Making it look easy. Here's Doncic. Takes a three. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Durant's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. That's good from Booker on the assist by KD. Durant's got six assists now in the game. Mavericks trail by three. Now Doncic. Outside Irving. For the three, and it's Doncic missing. That's Gordon with the ball. He brings it up for the Suns. Inside, and finished up by Petey. And we've seen Durant now hit big shots before. This guy relishes the moment. Dallas has gone over and over to the three-point shot in the fourth quarter. Four of nine. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Yusuf Nurkic. At the line for the Mavericks, Kyrie Irving taking two shots. Shooting two. Free throw good from Kyrie Irving. Oh. 
Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. Suns lead by three. Outside Beal. Back to Booker. Durant for three. The Mavericks pull it in. Ivory's got rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. And Doncic gets it to go. He's so clutch. When the pressure is at its highest, that's when he's at his very best. Here's Booker. Outside Beal. Back to Booker. This is it to KD. Oh, the Suki Swoop three from KD. And that's a bounce back three, and they're back in the lead. The crowd has started to get nervous, but now they're just fired up. An incredible ball game going down the stretch. Doncic dishes to Irving. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Booker against Doncic. Again, the Mavericks score. Luka does not back away from the big stage, guys. This guy, this young fella, loves to be center stage in the biggest moment. Here's Booker. And Lively pulls it down. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Kleba. Oh, and they take the lead. Kleba's got his first points of the night. And guys, here in the fourth quarter, still a close game. Instant classic, fellas. This one could come right down to the last shot. Booker up top. Guarded by Doncic. It's good. And the Suns lead by one. About the focus from Booker. I mean, refusing to let anything stop him from getting that basket. Irving from long range. Again, what an avalanche! And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. To the middle, here's Beal, and a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. Not shying away from the spotlight. Beal wanting to be the guy to come up big for his team. Maverick shooting impressively throughout at 62%. On its way from Irving. And yep, another basket. And he's nearing the single game franchise record in scoring. Absolutely on fire. Already a night to remember and approaching some history to boot. Nurkic set the pick for KD. They double team KD. Beal gets a wide open look. And the three off target. Irving against Beal. Irving passes to Cleveland. Nurkic with the double team. On to Hardaway. Misses the three. This could be a turning point. Critical possession right here. KD dishes to Booker. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. The pressure is on, but Booker can handle it. He just has to trust himself. At the line for your charge, Devin Booker. Two shots. Gets the first, and that narrows the gap to one. And he makes both free throws. Excellent composure at the line there to tie things up and give them a shot at overtime. And the Mavericks call time here. Booker against Doncic. Over Booker. 
Oh, missed it. Duran against Donjic. Here's Booker. It's in! And in that situation, everybody knows the ball's going to be in Booker's hands, and he comes up big. And the Mavericks call time here. They're down by two. Just two seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Yeah, and with a couple seconds still on the clock, I try to get the ball in as close to the basket as possible. That way, if you miss a quick one, you may have time for a putback to tie it at the buzzer. He made it! He got it! He got it! He got it! Wow! I can't believe this. How in the world can you end the game on a shot like that? Well, I think I've seen it all now, guys. And nothing's going to top that, I don't think. So it's an arrow victory for the Mavericks pulling out the W. This win, such a tremendous emotional boost for them. Really an accomplishment and crazy finish <laughs> to take a road game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much, Kyrie. It looked like you were in an extra crispy special kind of zone tonight. How did you do it? Ah, uh, man, well, the, the beauty is in the process. It's in the preparation. You know, I, before I get here, I'm trying to get locked in mentally. Um, just trying to come out here and put on a good performance, lead my team, do the best job I can. That's all I'm trying to do. It was all on display tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. All right, David, thanks so much. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now, our New Balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving.